the best college degrees for the ISFJ personality type. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. But before we do that, let's make sure to smash the like button for the evil YouTube algorithm. On this channel, we talk about personal finance, degrees, careers, and other opportunities that are gonna to lead to you being more successful. And we also talk about avoiding the common financial traps and mistakes that so many people fall for. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it already, and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time that I upload. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. All right, this has been a huge trend that I've noticed the past year or so on YouTube. Has anybody else seen these Myers-Briggs videos where they talk about different personality types and how they respond to different situations? Hilda, this potato salad is great. This potato salad is so bad, I think I'm gonna throw up. So there's a really good website that I like. It's called 16personalities.com. I think they do a great job talking about all the different personality types. And the ISFJ personality type is also known as the defender and the avatar for this one is going to be a nurse. Now this is the most common personality type and when it comes to how this personality expresses itself in the workplace, there are a lot of really interesting things. First of all, you could say that this personality type is kind of like the backbone of the workforce. And that kind of makes sense when you see a nurse as the avatar for this, because nurses are definitely the backbone of the healthcare system. This is a personality type that wants to be of service to others. That's what makes them happy. Now I have to be honest, sometimes these uh, personality assessments can be a little bit like reading a horoscope. Sometimes you read it and it's almost like this sort of thing could apply to just about anybody. It doesn't matter which personality type they have, you could apply this to just about any person out there. And these are not perfect by any means. I'm not saying that some of these might be wrong, but I think overall they do give you a pretty good idea of what your personality is like and what careers you might be best suited for. The defender personality type is generally gonna be pretty well liked by almost all of their coworkers as well as people that they work with like patients or customers. If you're in a big organization with a lot of people, the defenders will likely be kind of the glue person that just kind of tries to make sure that everybody gets along. They're also really hardworking and a lot of the time they're gonna end up with their career progressing pretty quickly. However, defenders are unlikely to seek out managerial roles. Sometimes they'll end up in a managerial role, but that's just because of the fact that somebody else thought that they would be good for it. They're unlikely to seek it out themselves. So that's just a little bit of a background on this personality type. Just a few things that I thought were kind of important that make sense when we're talking about some of the things in this video. So the first college degree that might be really good for this personality type would be a finance degree. Now with a finance degree, you're gonna start off making around $55,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be somewhere around 98,000. Now there are a ton of different career paths you can go into if you get a degree in finance. The one I'm gonna talk about today is one where you could do this as an extrovert. It would be ideal if you're an extrovert, but in this particular case, I think it is a good match for this type of introvert. And that is going to be personal financial advisor. They make around $87,000 a year. There's 260 63,000 jobs available and it has a 4% job outlook, which is pretty good. And you might be like, damn, I'm really surprised you put finance on here for an introverted personality type. I mean, aren't all finance jobs basically extroverts who go around Wall Street giving speeches and getting people pumped up? Anyone here thinks I'm superficial or materialistic? Go get a job at fucking McDonald's. Not exactly. Personal financial advisors, generally speaking, are gonna be working one-on-one -on -one with people. And that can be bad for some types of introverts. But in this particular case, because of the fact that they're so focused on doing a really good job and just helping other people out, even though they're kind of introverted, I think this is a good match for them. Most of the time, personal financial advisors will be either one-on-one -on -one or maybe you know talking to a husband and a wife at the same time and basically just giving them really solid financial advice on retirement, investing, saving, and all of those things that really matter when it comes to personal finance. Now, attention to detail as well as dependability are two key roles when it comes to being a good personal financial advisor. And this is where the ISFJ really shines because they're going to be very meticulous about about researching their investments. And because of the fact that they care so much about the other person's success, they're gonna make sure that they make the best possible investment. Now, the reason I chose this one is because as a personal financial advisor, you can kind of market yourself in different ways. I think there's a good balance between, you know, meeting new clients, obtaining new clients, and also spending a lot of your time doing actual research on the financial side of things. Introverts will probably spend a little bit more time on the research side, whereas extroverts are probably gonna spend a little more time on the obtaining client side. And even if that's so, you're still going to spend quite a bit of time looking at charts and investments. Number two on this list is going to be industrial engineering. You're going to start off making 
$1,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be around 110,000. Now, industrial engineers can expect to make $88,000 a year. There's 295,000 jobs available and the job outlook is growing at 10%, which is much faster than average. Now, industrial engineers are basically going to be kind of the combination of an engineer as well as a business person. They're going to be focused on allocating the resources of the company in such a way where they're not wasting a bunch of money you know, on projects that don't really contribute to whatever the goal of the company is. This involves workers, machines, different materials. They're gonna allocate all of those things together in the most efficient way possible. Specifically, industrial engineers are very good at designing and improving different processes within a company. Because of their attention to detail, this is a really good one for the defender personality type. And it's also good just because of the fact that you don't really need to spend all that much time around other people. It's a little bit more of an introverted type career. Companies basically rely on industrial engineers to design and improve their production systems to make them as efficient as possible and also as cost effective as possible too. Number three on the list is going to be marketing. Now with a marketing degree, you're gonna start off making around $48,000 a year and mid-career pay is gonna be 89,000. One career you could go into would be a marketing manager, which you're gonna make $135,000 a year. There's 314,000 jobs available and it's growing at 6%, which is faster than average. Now marketing is gonna teach you a lot of the same skills as sales, for instance, but it's not quite as personal and you don't have to spend as much time around other people and you don't have to meet new people all the time. And so it's a little bit better for someone who is introverted. Now, like I mentioned before, this is the most common personality type. So I think they have an easier time understanding other people and how they think. They tend to be very in tune to the needs of others as well. And so that helps them when it comes to designing marketing campaigns. And there's not really a perfect word to describe this, but I think maybe the most important skill that a marketer can learn is just being able to understand the thoughts and the feelings that are going through, you know, thousands or millions of people's heads. Some would call this the milieu, others might call it zeitgeist. If you guys know a better word to describe this, then please let me know. ISFJs tend to be really good at understanding other people's struggles and figuring out how to solve them. And so marketing is just a perfect one for them because they're able to clearly communicate how this product is going to solve this very specific problem for this very specific person. The next one on the list is going to be information technology. With this one, you're going to make around $55,000 a year starting out and mid-career pay is $92,000. Now, one career you could go into is you could become a network and system administrator. They make around $83,000 a year. There's 373,000 jobs available and it's growing at 4%, which is average. Now, one thing about this personality type, I mentioned that they like helping other people, but they like doing it in a particular way. They like to see the person, see what problem they have and make sure that they help them to fix whatever problem that is and then see the results of their labors, okay, right? See the fruits of their labors. Now, if you think of a lot of careers out there, you are helping people, but unfortunately, you don't really get to see the fruits of your labor. Now, IT workers, generally speaking, aren't going to spend all that much time around other people. And the people they do spend time around are likely going to be people that they already know. This is kind of a big thing for introverts is that especially when they're meeting new people, that can kind of sap their energy a little bit. Whereas if they're just kind of around the same people all the time, it's not as bad. And what they get to do is people will have some kind of technical issue. They'll come to the IT person and they will be able to help them and see it all the way through until the end usually. This is extremely satisfying for this personality type because of the fact that they get to see the person's problem and help them all the way see it through until the end and then usually the person's like oh thank you so much I mean I know I've had some IT issues called up uh, a friend that's an IT guy and then also some people from support companies and uh, it's awesome when I'm able to solve that issue it's such a good feeling the next one on the list is going to be kind of similar but in a completely different career and that's going to be occupational therapy now occupational therapists basically treat people who have injuries and disabilities they get these people to a point where they can actually function at a somewhat normal level, even though they have that disability. Occupational therapists make around $84,000 a year. There's 143,000 jobs out there and it's growing at 16%, which is really, really good. So I thought I would include at least one master's level degree. This one is generally a six year degree, although I've heard that they're moving it more towards being a doctoral level degree, which would take a little bit longer. Now, one thing that's really common with ISFJs is they're not extroverted. And so they'd rather not be around big groups of people. A lot of the time, occupational therapists are gonna be working one-on-one -on -one with patients. There's kind of a stereotype of introverts being really awkward and stuff like that, but to be honest with you, introverts oftentimes have really good social skills. It's just that they don't wanna be around a ton of people and they don't wanna constantly be around people all day long. The defender person
personality type, ISFJ is especially good when it comes to being one on one with someone and helping them out. And the great thing about being an occupational therapist is it's kind of the same thing. You start with someone, you work with them, and you get to see them all the way through until they've, you know, done all the training and they've, you know, gotten to the point where they can live a relatively normal life. So you get to see the fruits of your labors. A lot of the time in healthcare, for instance, you know, you treat a person for this and then, you know, they move to a different ward or a different clinic or something like that. And you never get to see how that turned out. That's not as much of an issue with occupational therapy. And that's why it's extremely rewarding, especially for the defender personality type. Number six on the list is going to be, this is a pretty obvious one, nursing. I mean, that is the avatar itself, right? The avatar on the 16 personality site is a nurse. Now there are many different levels to nursing. It ranges all the way from being like a nurse's assistant, all the way up to being actually a doctor of nursing. Generally speaking, when people are referring to nurses, they're talking about a registered nurse. The program to become a registered nurse is going to take somewhere around two to four years. And it's going to depend on a bunch of different factors, like how much education you have already, whether you're going to an accelerated program or not. It also depends on whether you want to get an associate's degree in nursing or a bachelor's of science in nursing. There's a lot of argument about which one you should go for and really it just depends on where you live, how much need there is for nurses wherever you're living, and a bunch of other factors. But anyways, registered nurses make around $73,000 a year. There's a whopping 3 million jobs available and it's growing at 7% which is faster than average. So this one is really good for ISFJ. You're going to be working a lot one-on-one -on -one with people. You're going to be working with other people within an organization and like I said those things before you're kind of like the glue person you really want to do a good job work hard make everyone happy but honestly when it comes to a career where there's three million jobs available it really doesn't matter what personality type you are. If you don't like whatever specialty you're in or whatever, you can easily just switch to a different one. Some specialties are gonna be much heavier when it comes to talking to people. Some specialties are gonna be much busier than other ones. Some people like really busy. Some people like it when it's slow. Some specialties, you're gonna be talking a lot one-on-one. -on -one. Others, you're gonna be interacting with a bunch of people. So when it comes to careers like this, it's pretty cool because of how flexible it is. If you don't like whatever job you have, there's gonna be a ton of other opportunities out there. If you haven't done it already, go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video. And before you go, make sure to check out my videos right here. I made them just for you.